This is the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 8, verse 16. And it reads, After I am come into mine house, I will repose myself with her, talking about wisdom, for her conversation, which is the spirit of Yahweh Shai, it is a gift that the Lord has given unto us to send unto us his son's spirit, the comforter that will lead us into all truth. While the Lord Yahweh Shai is in the spiritual realm, in a place we cannot get to physically, he is spiritually here to comfort us and help us and to guide us and to keep us. All right. And to give us everything we need, gifts, but we shall want no good thing. This is ver uh, verse 16 again. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter eight, verse 16. After I am come into mine house, I will repose myself with her for her conversation. Have no bitterness. And to live with her have no sorrow, but mirth and joy. Now, when I consider these things in myself and pondered them in my heart, which is your mind, how to be allied unto wisdom is immortality. And great pleasure it is to have her friendship. And in the works of her hands are infinite riches. And then the exercise of conference with her prudence, which is carefulness, or to be of a quick perception. And in taking with her a good report, I went about seeking how to take her to me. For I was a witty child and had a good spirit. Yeah, rather, being good, I came into a body undefiled. Whew. The Lord has preserved for us those new bodies, man. But even in these earthen vessels, we have this treasure. How about that? Nevertheless, when I perceived that I could not otherwise obtain her, except Yahweh gave her me, and that was a point of wisdom also to know whose gift she was, I prayed unto the Lord Yahweh, by Shemel Shai and besought him, and with my whole heart I said, O power of my fathers, and Lord of mercy, who has made all things with thy word, and ordained man through thy wisdom, that he should have dominion over the creatures which thou hast made. And order the world according to equity, which is fairness and righteousness, and execute judgment with an upright heart. So with that, giving all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, in whom the world is ignorantly called Jehovah or Yahweh. And Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten Son, in whom the world has ignorantly called Jesus Christ, in whom we do worship. We are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American, and Seminole Indians, to the 12 tribes, which are scattered abroad, greetings, given double honors unto my apostles, my elders, and my teachers, at Great Millstone, that are ruling well, and continue to do so, that taught me and brothers like me this truth, this beautiful truth, beginning with the names of our power and of his anointed, the two most important things we could ever and will ever know the name of the Heavenly Father and the name of His only begotten Son, their true and proper names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, our language, the Lashwan Kodash, which means holy tongue. Lashwan meaning tongue and Kodash meaning holy. Now these be the names that are written. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahawa. Yah meaning He. Hawa meaning exists or is or is to be. He is. He exists. He, the existing one, for he is a rewarder of them that diligently seeks him. And in the name of his only begotten son, his true and proper name, all right, that we call upon and that the elect and the predestined will call upon in these last and troubling days and will see the power thereof. For what is the father's name? And what is his son's name? If thou can tell. For the Lord will not uh, 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 despise those of a broken heart and contrite spirit that calls upon him in spirit and in truth. Look at the generations of old that ever trust in the Lord and were confounded. Okay. The name of the Heavenly Father's Son, our Savior, the King of Kings, his true and proper name is Yahawashai. All right. That great and that mighty name. Even Yahawashai, Yah, meaning he, Hawashai, meaning deliverer and savior, for that is exactly what he will come and do 
for the second time in physical form, yet as an angelic force, for we shall see him as he is, and we shall be like him. So Lord's willing, this is the final lesson. This is part two of Ga'al, which is the Hebrew word for kinsman or redeemer, the kinsman redeemer. Okay, according to our law, if you were in captivity or slavery or exile, uh, uh, some ne uh, someone that was next of kin could claim you back, buy you back, free you, and return you unto what was yours, what was lost, what is owed you. And that's what the Lord is going to do for us. After all that we have done, the Lord has shown mercy. The Lord bought us with the price, even his blood. And the Lord also has redeemed us without money. The Lord's willing I can get that. All right. And that's exactly what the Lord is going to do for us. All right. He has redeemed us first and foremost through his blood. He put down that down payment. But soon the Lord is going to uh, uh, consummate. He's going to really close out the deal by coming physically and taking us up out of here and placing us in bodies like unto his glorious body. All right. So this is part two of Gaal, the kinsman redeemer friendship. This is what it's all about is the friendship of the Lord. Uh, our friendship with the Heavenly Father was broken until the Lord, Yahweh Shai, through his sacrifice, broke down the middle wall of partition between us and it brought peace when we were at war with our power through our flesh and through our uh, rebellious hearts. But now through Mashiach, we died to our old selves and became anew. In the life that we now live, we live through the son of Yahweh, even Yahweh Shai. Now, this is wisdom of Solomon 6 and 12. Wisdom is glorious and never fadeth away. Yeah, she is easily seen of them that love her. See, we can see the Lord. Though we have not seen him with bodily eyes, we see him in the spirit. We hear his voice. His sheep will not hear another's voice. All right. Wisdom is glorious. And never fadeth away. Yeah, she is easily seen of them that love her and found of such as seek her. She prevented them that desire her in making herself first known unto them. Whoso seeketh her early shall have no great travail, for he shall find her sitting at his doors, your mind. That's when the Lord said he's going to be at your door and knock, and he's going to sup with you. It's in your mind, in the spirit. Because we all heard this word, as it tells you in uh, what, Hebrews 4. All of our people heard this word. Those that heard the word that were unbelievers, they didn't have uh, faith mixed in. So it was of no value to them. But to us, we had faith. But it was not of ourselves. It was a gift from heaven. Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai placed that gift with us, even the faithful in the womb. Even fear of him, which that's the beginning of fearing him, is having faith and, and trust in him and believing that he is. That's what his name means. He is Yahweh. Okay. It says, Whoso seeketh her early shall have no great travail, but he shall find her sitting at his doors, your mind. To think therefore upon her is perfection of wisdom. And whoso watcheth for her shall quickly be without care. Woo! See that? We've been redeemed. When somebody is redeeming you or is fighting for you, you're quickly without care because you know you're not the one that has to fight the battle or pay the price for your freedom. But hey, as it is written in another place, the Lord bought us without money and he had bought us with a price that price was his blood his precious blood that the blood of bulls and goats and lambs and rams could not do or turtle doves could never do but the blood of Mashiach did that one time okay for she going into the spirit of Mashiach which his spirit is a loving spirit a caring spirit a, a stern spirit a disciplinary spirit all in one and in a, a spirit of power and will give you the power when the Lord can trust you and sees fit to give you his power. Whether it's the power to heal, the gift of tongues, the power of, of, of might to become a mighty man, a valiant man for Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. As the men of old, the judges of old, uh, old time, all right, and of the prophets and of Samuel, and of Gideon and of David also, that all the great men. That came before. What do they all have? The fear of the Lord and ultimately wisdom. It was Yahweh Shai who brought us out of our fall. Though it was him who was Adam who fell, 
He's the one that restored all things back to where it should be. All right. Hence, he is the kinsman redeemer. He's the only one that could do it for us. All right. Everyone else that could have done it, even going into the sense of the kinsman redeemer in, in our law, you know, it would be the next of kin that will come deliver you out of slavery or bondage or from a debt. Only Yahweh Shai can do that because everyone we thought could do it. They, they didn't do it. They, uh, uh, Esau took out all our leaders, so-called. And then our, even our people that are Israelites through bloodline don't know who they are. They've forgotten. But Yahweh Shai remembers. He knows us and he called us. We did not choose him. He chose us. Those one I'm one of those men. It says, for she goeth about seeking woo, such as are worthy of her. Showeth herself favorably unto them in the ways. Woo. And meet them in every thought. Yeah. Beginning, man. We always we always think about the Lord. We're always thinking about the Lord. We can't leave. There's nowhere we can go. To whom shall we go? For the Lord has the words of eternal life. Wisdom of Solomon 6 and 17. But the very true beginning of her is the desire of discipline. And the care of discipline is love. And love is the keeping of her laws. And the giving heed unto her laws is, a, is the assurance of incorruption. And incorruption maketh us near unto Yahweh. Therefore, the desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. If your delight then, Salaki, if your delight be then in thrones and scepters, O ye kings of the people, honor wisdom that ye may reign forevermore. <whistles> That's it. Now let's read this in the book of Ruth. We're in Ruth's stead, the way she moved, the way she acted. We, we were strangers to the commonwealth of our own inheritance, to our own power, our own God. But now we, we, we understand the Lord. We're getting to know him. We're intimate with him. When you're a friend, you're intimate. Because right? if the, you have a master and a slave relationship, the slave is always going to do what the master is telling uh, uh, that individual person to do. But a friend is different. See, a friend is going to tell you their the most intimate thoughts, share with you things that they would not share with others or others would ever or never know of them. The Lord has given us his secrets and the ultimate secret is his name and the power behind his name and the name of his son and his great plan of what he's going to do for the righteous and what he's going to and what he's going to do to the wicked. See? Now, this is the book of Ruth, chapter 2, verse 22. And Naomi said unto Ruth, her daughter-in-law, It is good, my daughter, that thou goest out with his maidens, that they meet thee not in any other field. In LT, good, Naomi exclaimed. Do as he said, my daughter. Stay with his young women right through the whole harvest. All right, because hey, the harvest is plenteous, but the laborers are few, so we're going to stay with the, with the maidens that are working for our Lord, that are working for that penny. Okay, we, we, we can't go anywhere else or we're going to be ridiculed, uh, despised, hated, hunted. All right? Even in these other groups that say they're Israel, in those other groups, you're belittled, you're hunted, you're hated, you're scoffed at, you put, you're, you're kept in a low estate. And that's not right. That's not what the Lord uh, uh, promised. He said, uh, we're we going to eat to the abundance and drink said, those that hunger and thirst for righteousness, we will be filled. And the teachers that the Lord is going to set up will feed us with knowledge and understanding so that we will not fear anymore the enemy. All right. But trust in the Lord. Trust in him. For here and now we are a poor and afflicted people that shall trust in the name of the Lord. Because if you're a slave on a plantation somewhere and, and somebody's telling you, hey, man, you've been free. What the hell are you talking about, man? Who bailed me out? Who freed me? And they give you the name of the person. I, I, ne I need to know this person's name. I got to thank him. Oh, man, it don't even matter, man. You can call him whatever. No, what is his name? See, you got dudes like that. If somebody's redeeming me or bailing me out of prison or slavery or jail or just saved my life, I want to know their name. Nah, man, it don't even matter, man. You know, just some dude. I can't just be like some dude saved me. No, what is his name? Oh, oh, his name, the father's name is Yahweh. He's the one behind it all. All right, he put he put the paperwork in for you to be free. Okay, and who's the one that actually put down the down payment to get me up out of here? Oh, his name is Yahweh Shai. Oh, so oh, all glory, praises, honor, dominion, 
be unto those powers that have rescued me and saved me. Unto the Father, Yahweh, be the praise, and unto his son, Yahweh Shai, be the glory and honor. You see? So call Lord Yimla, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. All right? We know who has redeemed us. Have you been redeemed? Thank you, Lord. Now, this is Ruth 2 and 22 in LT. Good, Naomi exclaimed. Do as he said, my daughter. Stay with his young women right through the whole harvest. You might be harassed in other fields, but you'll be safe with him. See, we're safe with the Lord. We will be harassed in other fields. And these other groups, these other camps that ain't really even planning nothing. They might throw some seed out there, but they're lazy. And the field is dying and is whack or is over flooded. Or ain't nothing happening. Everybody just sitting around. But then you go into the field where Great Millstone is, the field of the Lord. Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, his harvest. All right, we're out there with the angels. The angels are the reapers. But we're just still out there working, getting it in. All right, by the sweat of the brow. To get the bread, the real bread, this word, all right? The mana that rained down, which is even the Lord, Yahweh Shai, constantly feeding us, giving us our daily bread. Ruth 2, 23. So she kept fast by the maidens of Boaz to glean unto the end of barley harvest and of wheat harvest and dwelt with her mother-in-law. See, see, we're dwelling with, with, uh, with the scriptures, with these proverbs, with these teachings, just as a, like a mother-in-law, somebody has taken you under the wing, all right? Because Naomi knew Boaz more than, than Ruth did, but she told her, hey, do what you, keep doing what you're doing. Stick close to this man, this man of honor. That's what the scriptures are saying. The scriptures, the law in itself, our law is a schoolmaster pointing us unto Yahweh Shai. You can see, our law is like Naomi in this particular story of your life. Your Ruth, a stranger at the first, once married, but then lost your husband. But you were so adamant and so in love with your husband and his family, and his ways that you're still going to look for the Lord. We're just like uh, the woman in uh, the book of uh, Songs of Solomon. The Song of Songs, right? Where she went out to the field looking for. Let me get that. Might as well. Found me. Uh, who my soul loveth. My soul loveth. We're falling hard after the Lord. We're looking for him. And whoever knows of the Lord, we're, we're talking with them. Hey, have you seen who I'm looking for? You know? Have, have you seen? There it is. Song of Solomon. One and seven. Tell me, O thou, whom my soul loveth, where thou feedest, where thou makest thy flock to rest at noon. Why should I be as one that turneth aside by the flocks of thy companions? Songs of Solomon 3 and 1. By night on my bed I sought him whom my soul loveth. I sought him, but I found him not. See? For a long time we, 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 we could not find the Lord, but when we finally find him, or the Lord comes to us as Boaz came to Ruth and said, eat as much as you will. Stay with my maid. Stay here. Work. Great things will be promised you. All right. There it is. That's what we. That's what we're doing with uh, Yahweh Shai. He's our master. He's our Boaz in this particular sense. He took us in when no one else would, and we were getting an earful through uh, uh, that spirit of, of knowledge, wisdom. All right. The, the the favor of the Lord, like Naomi was schooling. Ruth to do what she had to do to get closer to Boaz. All right. This is the song of Solomon three and two. I will rise now and go about the city in the streets where the, where the truth is. Where wisdom is being cried aloud. And in the broad ways, I will seek him whom my soul loveth. I sought him, but I found him not for a very long time. We did not find the Lord, but now we have found the Lord. Our teachers we're not removed into a corner anymore. Songs of Solomon or Song of Solomon. Three and three, the watchmen that go about the city found me, which are the prophets, the, the men of the Lord, to whom I said, saw ye him whom my soul loveth. Song of Solomon three and four. It was but a little that I passed from them. 
but I found him whom my soul loveth. I held him and would not let him go until I had brought him into my mother's house and into the chamber of her that conceived me. Bear with me, brothers. I know there's another point. Oh, the watch uh, beat. Oh, there it is. Song of Solomon 5 and 7. The watchmen that went about the city, which are the prophets and men of the Lord, found me. They smote me. Yeah, we were beaten, rebuked, hit. All right. They wounded me. Huh. The keepers of the walls took away my veil. Yeah, because we, we didn't know where we were going. We were blinded for a time. So they took away our veil so that we may see the Lord clearly. Okay. To understand, he is our kinsman redeemer. It is he that shall free us and not we ourselves. It says, the watchmen that went about the city found me. They smote me. They wounded me. The keepers of the walls took away my veil from me. I charge you, O daughters of Jerusalem, if ye find my beloved, that ye tell him that I am sick of love. Yeah, because uh, absence makes the heart grow fonder. And at times you grow sick. But we still are waiting on the Lord. Okay? We're being harassed. All right? While in the field. Though we're in a good field, we're being harassed by everyone round about. Because we're a stranger and pilgrim in this land. In this world. But our master, our Lord, Yahweh Shai, is speaking good for us. That everyone round about us treat us well and treat us good. Now, this is the book of Ruth. Two, or at least when it comes to this word, the Lord is, is allowing us to eat, to grow exponentially, to gather, to reap. Okay? Ruth chapter 2, verse 23. So Ruth worked alongside the women in Boaz, Boaz's field, gathered grain with them until the end of the barley harvest. Then she continued working with them through the wheat harvest in early summer. And all the while she lived with her mother-in-law. That's it. That's it. Now let's go back to um friend. And I got this, I got the clip, and I got it in English too. Alright, so Lord's willing, uh, YT don't get on my case for playing it. You know, it should be um a, a free uh how they call it. Like free use, so to speak. All right. Mm, it says, Boaz will redeem Ruth. Ruth at the threshing floor. All right. Ruth 3 and 1. Then Naomi, her mother-in-law, said unto her, My daughter, shall I not seek rest for thee, that it may be well with thee? And now is not Boaz of our kindred with Whose maidens thou wast? Behold, he winnoweth, he winnoweth barley tonight in the threshing floor. All right? Winnowing, okay? Wash thyself therefore, and that's what we've done with this word. How could a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to this word, okay? Wash thyself therefore and anoint thee. We've been anointed with the oil above our fellows, even the oil of truth. There's a, a oil and a treasure to be desired in the dwelling of the wise. Okay? It's, but it said a foolish man spendeth it up. Like that, that demon, uh, Judas Iscariot, when uh, the Lord with the woman was, um, she, I think she washed the Lord's feet with her tears and um, anointed him with the oil. I think it's uh, alabaster. Right? But then that, that demon Judas was going to say, well, Lord, what? Why was this such a waste? As if like the Lord putting the oil on himself was a waste. But she uh, uh, cried her tears, wiped, wiped, washed the Lord's feet, wiped his feet with her tears and with the oil. All right. And uh, Judas said, hey, Lord, we could have uh, sent that. We could have sold that uh, uh, oil and it got money. But pretty much the, the Lord uh, rebuked uh, Judas and was like, hey, man, she anointed my body for the burial. Pretty much anointed the Lord for what he was about to do. So the Lord have anointed us for what we're about to do. All right. And we're going to be at the feet of the Lord. All right. 
We're going to follow the lamb whithersoever he goeth. All right. And we're going to wait on the Lord to free us. Our kinsman redeemer, Gaal. It says, wash thyself therefore and anoint thee and put thy raiment upon thee and get thee down to the floor. But make not thyself known unto the man until he shall have done eating and drinking. But bear with me, brothers, with this uh, noise. Bear with me. All right, Akyam and you listeners, I'm back. Let's uh, continue on. Ruth 3 and 3. Now, do as I tell you. Take a bath and put on perfume and dress in your nicest clothes. Then go to the threshing floor. But don't let Boaz see you until he has finished eating and drinking. And it shall be when he lieth down that thou shalt mark the place where he shall lie and thou shalt go in and uncover his feet and lay thee down and he will tell thee what thou shalt do. Verse four, NLT, be sure to notice where he lies down. Then go and uncover his feet and lie down there. He will tell you what to do. That's where we're at. We're at the feet of the Lord. The Lord have covered us. Uh, with his uh, his skirt, just as uh, when we were a nation and we're nobodies, the Lord found us and in a uh, howling wilderness. All right. And decked us out. And the Lord is doing that now with his elect. He found us down and out. But we're willing to fight for the Lord and love him. All right. And, and follow him wherever to the ends of the earth. And even the Lord said he's going to be with us even unto the end of the age, the end of the world, which that word there in the Greek is aeon. Eon or Aeon. Age. Okay. Bear with me, brothers. Bear with me, bear with me. Bear with me. Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 14. For she is a treasure. Hey, the treasure in earth and vessels we have. Is that wisdom? For she is a treasure unto men that never faileth, which they that use become the friends of Yahweh. Hashim al Shai being commended for the gifts that come from learning. Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 27. And being but one, she can do all things. And remaining in herself, she maketh all things new. And in all ages, entering into holy souls, she maketh them friends of Yahweh. Hashim al Shai and prophets. All right. That spirit of wisdom. Spirit of Yahweh Shai it makes us all these things, friends of the Lord and prophets. All right, and having uh, gifts and being anointed and having treasure. All right, making us able. We're laying at the feet of the Lord, and the Lord will tell us what to do. Ruth 3 and 5, and she said unto her, All that thou sayest unto me, I will do. All right, that's it. Verse 5 in LT, I will do everything you say, Ruth replied. And she went down into the floor and did according to all that her mother-in-law bade her. So she went down to the threshing floor that night and followed the instructions of her mother-in-law. And when Boaz had eaten and drunk and his heart was merry, he went to lie down at the end of the heap of corn. And she came softly and uncovered his feet and laid her down. After Boaz finished eating and drinking and was in good spirits, he lay down at the far end of the pile of grain and went to sleep. Then Ruth came quietly, uncovered his feet and lay down. And it came to pass at midnight that the man was afraid <sighs> as it, but they, but the, the man wasn't afraid. Now let me get that real quick. Um, as out of a sweet awake, awake, O Lord, which the Lord doesn't sleep, but you know, the psalmist and, and men of the Lord 
would, would tell the Lord, like, well, come on, Lord, please, please, oh, Lord, wait, come, save us. You know, they wanted the Lord urgently to come uh, uh, get them out of the distress. But the only place we can find refuge and quiet is near the Lord at his feet. All right. Bear with me, brothers. Psalm 3 and 5, I laid me down and slept. I awaked for the Lord, Yahweh Bashimashai, sustained me. Okay, bear with me. Oh, there we go. Psalm 44 and 23. Awake! Why sleepest thou, O Lord? Arise, cast us not off forever. Psalm 57 and 8. Awake up, my glory. Awake, salt tree and harp. I myself will awake early. Psalm 59 and 5. Thou therefore, O Lord, Yahweh Bashimashai, power of hosts, the power of Israel, awake to visit all the heathen. Be not merciful to any wicked transgressor, say La. So the Lord is awakened, is, is waking to save us. He's awakening, all right, to uh put us on the path and to destroy any wicked transgressor, man. Psalm 73 and 20, as a dream when one awaketh, so, O Lord, Yahweh, Bashem when thou awakest, thou shalt despise their image. <laughs> Psalm 78 and 65, then the Lord, then the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem awaked as one out of sleep. And like a mighty man that shouted by reason of wine, <laughs> as exactly what happened in the story up top. When the Lord sees you, but as if the Lord woke, I'm not saying he, he is, but it said that the Lord has a book of remembrance that's that that's before his, his face all the time. And that we're the apple of the Lord's eye and that uh, we're in the palm of the Lord's hand. We're like written. We're like a imprint of like your hand. You have your own special imprint. The Lord has that as us, his people within his, his, his mind. We have never been uh, forsaken. So that we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. All right. This is our route three and eight. Around midnight, Boaz suddenly woke up and turned over. He was surprised to find a woman lying at his feet. Verse nine. All right. Verse nine. He said, who art thou? She answered, I am Ruth, thine handmaid. Spread therefore thy skirt over thine handmaid, for thou art a near kinsman. So who are you? He asked. I'm your servant, Ruth. She replied, spread the corner of your covering over me, for you are my family redeemer. <whistles> Man. And he said, blessed be thou of the Lord, Yahweh. By Shimei, my daughter, for thou hast shown more kindness in the latter end than at the beginning. And as much as thou followest, not young men, whether poor or rich. Verse 10, the Lord, Yahweh, by Shema Shai, bless you. My daughter, Yahweh, by Shema Shai, bless you. My daughter, Boaz exclaimed, you are showing even more family loyalty now than you did before, for you have not gone after a younger man, whether rich or poor. And that's what the Lord is telling us. You didn't go to anybody else. You still sticking with me? You didn't go become a, a ugly Christian and get money and get women? You didn't go uh, uh, to the Catholic Church and become and all this other crap? You didn't go uh, uh, into these other denominations and become so great and famous and have clout? You Oh, you didn't do that? You didn't go to anyone else? You came here showing even more family loyalty now than you did before, see? We came in knowing it was our duty, but now we show even more family loyalty. It's not about me, Lord. It's not about us. It's about you and about your great namesake and us being your uh, uh, unprofitable servants, knowing that there will be a reward. But hey, even in the midst of that, we love doing this. We love laboring for the Lord. We love working. Working, you know, working on the code. Hey, that's it. Now let me get labor real quick. Then we're going to go back to friend labor. Oh, yeah, not bad. 
Hmm. It's labor. Okay, bear with me, brothers. First Corinthians 3 and 9. For we are laborers together with Yahweh. By Shemel Shai, ye are Yahweh's. By Shemel Shai's husbandry. Ye are Yahweh by Shemel Shai's building. All right. First Corinthians 4 and 12. And labor, that's us, working with our own hands, being reviled. We bless, being persecuted. We suffer it. Okay. First Corinthians 15, 10. But by the grace of Yahweh Bashimashai, I am what I am. And his grace, which was bestowed on, upon me, was not in vain, but I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I, but the grace of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, which was with me. 1 Corinthians 15 and 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, Yahweh, by uh, Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Let me read that again. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, Yahweh, by Shimei Shai, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Man. 1 Corinthians 16 to 16. That ye submit yourselves unto such and to every one that helpeth with us and laboreth. We're submitting ourselves unto the Lord as Ruth submitted herself unto Boaz at his feet. All right. Pray with me, brothers. All right. There's a couple of good ones here, but let me see what I'm going to get. Ooh. Philippians 2 and 16, holding forth the word of life. Yahweh, <laughs> by Shimei is the one that have done that. He made us to latch on, to grab on. Just as the woman that had the issue of blood grabbed the skirt of Yahweh Shai, we're grabbing the skirt of Yahweh Shai. We're asking the Lord Yahweh Shai to cover us. All right. We're at the Lord's feet. Okay. It says, holding forth the word of life. That I may rejoice in the day of Mashiach, that I have not run in vain, neither labored in vain. See, Ruth didn't labor in vain for this, this man, Boaz. She didn't go running after any younger men. That's us not running after any of these other philosophies that are not the truth, that are not of the truth. Not even not even these other camps that know that they're Israelites, but they're uh, like the young men. There's glitz and glamour in these other groups. So you can get prestige and women and all this other crap. But we don't want that. We want the glory. To be not of us, but of the Lord. The excellency of the powers of Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shai not of us? Okay. Uh, Ephesians 4.28. Let him that stole steal no more, but rather let him labor. That's what we're doing. Working with his hands the things which is good. That he may have to give to him that needed. How about that? I'm going to play this clip. I was willing uh, YT, don't get on my case about it. We're going to play this clip. Read the rest of this out in Ruth. Get a few more scriptures and close it, close him on out. All right, bear with me, brothers. Should load up. And it should be at the point I want it at, too. All right, so brothers, enjoy this clip. Okay. Just bear with it, though. But let me read this in uh, the book of Ruth. Chapter 3, verse 11 and 12. I'll read both the KJV and NLT versions. All right. And that's our, that was our eyes. That's how our eyes were. We seen the true. Like, oh, <laughs> okay. It says, and now, my daughter, fear not. I will do to thee all that thou requirest for all the city of my people doth know that thou art a virtuous woman. That's what we have become. You know, just as a virtuous woman, you know, uh, Proverbs 31 woman. We, we know that's wisdom ultimately, but that's how we're moving. We're the Lord's woman, so we're moving like that. We don't give a damn if it's cold, hot, raining. We're out there serving our Lord. We don't care. We're bidden to the marriage. We don't care what anybody else thinks. We're quickly without care, as the scriptures say. We don't care what this world thinks. We don't give a damn. All right, we're going to work for our Lord. We're going to lay at his feet. We're going to find him in the night. He is whom our soul loves, Okay. It's not money that, that our soul loves or people or, or this world or anything we can gain or get. 
our soul loveth Yahweh. Why Yahweh shy? Okay, this is Ruth three and eleven. And now, my daughter, fear not. I will do to thee all that thou requirest. For all the city of my people doth know that thou art a virtuous woman. Now, don't worry about a thing, my daughter. I will do what is necessary. For everyone in town knows you are a virtuous woman. Verse twelve. And now it is true that I am thy near kinsman. Howbeit, there is a kinsman nearer than I. <whistles> All right? And that's kind of uh, the spirit. Because just like these other camps, when we first came to the truth, we didn't know the difference between the camps. We were just like, well, they're all Israel. Okay, if I don't get with this camp, then I can get with this camp. I'll be straight. Like, nah, we didn't know the danger. And it's funny how this uh, kinsman that was nearer than Boaz, he had a lot on his plate and couldn't really take Ruth on. Just like these other groups, they didn't want to take us on because we just wanted the truth. We didn't want uh, to buy no goddamn package and, and all this other crap. You know, we just wanted the Lord to love us and, and free us and save us from this ugly, wicked, stupid, dumb world. We didn't want nothing in this world, okay? We didn't want to be duped or played. That's why we searched only for the truth and the Lord even though we uh, might have listened to other groups, Zabak, uh, IUIC, uh, ISUBK, the Lord got us up out of those groups and led us to the truth, which is among his men, all right, the apostles and elders at Great Millstone that truly loved the Lord and only served the Lord and served those that served the Lord and loved the Lord and feed them with knowledge and understanding, Okay. Pretty much that they're they're like our Naomi in a sense, telling us what to do, how we could please the Lord more and more. Though we you know read it in the scripture, but we didn't understand until we had teachers to teach us. Just as Naomi taught Ruth about you know the way we got down in our society, that no no go work in his field. He's a good man. He's the next of kin to us. He you know he's gonna do great things for you. Oh yeah, may he be blessed. Oh, oh, he blessed you in the name of the Lord. All right, then you will be blessed. And may he be blessed also. This is vice versa, back and forth. It's a give and take, but constantly a building up and in, 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 in a beautiful exchange back and forth. None is lost. None is uh, really gained. Everything we do have is of the Lord and everything we do give out is of the Lord also. We receive freely. We freely give. All right. So that's what it is. Verse 12. But while... It's true that I am one of your family's redeemers. There is another man who is more closely related to you than I am. Tarry this night, and it shall be in the morning that if he will perform unto thee the part of a kinsman, well, let him do the kinsman's part. But if he will not do the part of a kinsman to thee, then will I do the part of a kinsman to thee as the Lord liveth. Lie down unto the morning. See, the Lord put us at rest. He's like, hey, if you find it over there, then good. Because uh, a lot of stuff we did find uh, in these other groups, we at least learned we were Israel. That was that was at least the number one. But we needed more than that because these groups really didn't want to take us on. They didn't want to take our spirit on. They would they would have called us out, called us window shoppers, bums, whatever. All right? Uh, 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 oh, you ain't a real warrior. You ain't her, uh, uh, and all this other crap. Like, man, hey, whatever, man. I'm here for the word. I'm here for the Lord. I'm here for the truth. All right. I'm here to know the power of his resurrection. I'm not here for nothing else. Games and glitz and glamour and all that crap. I just want the Lord. But with that, let me play this clip. I was willing. <laughs> it plays. Bear with it, brothers. Bear with it. All right. And while we wait for it to load, this is Ruth 3 and 13. Wow, he's got this commercial. Salak you, brothers. Let me let this play out. All right, Shalom, I'm back finally. Hey, man, all these ads and stupid commercials and all that crap. Hopefully YT don't get on my case, but here we go. I'm going to read this uh, in verse 13 and 14, and then we're going to play the clip. It says, Terry, this night, and it shall be in the morning that if he will perform unto thee the part of a kinsman, well, let him do the kinsman's part, but if he will not do the part of a kinsman to thee, then I will do the part of a kinsman to thee, as the Lord Yahweh liveth. Lie down unto the morning. So stay here tonight, 
and in the morning I will talk to him. If he is willing to redeem you, very well, let him marry you. But if he is not willing, then as surely as the Lord lives, I will redeem you myself. Now lie down here until the morning. See that? Bought without money. Let me get that. Without money. So I can. Are we going to play this clip? In English. Yep. Mm. Isaiah 52 and 3. For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Vashem El Shai, ye have sold yourselves for naught. Majority of our people, just as, as a nation, uh, everything we were going out and looking for before the Lord found us, it, was, it didn't lead to nothing. We still were empty and nothing. Okay? It says, For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Vashem El Shai, ye have sold yourselves for naught. And ye shall be redeemed without money. How will we redeem? Through the blood of Mashiach. Isaiah 55 and 1. Ho! Everyone that thirsts, come ye to the waters. And he that have no money, come ye, buy and eat. Yeah, come buy wine and milk, which is the scriptures, the word, the truth, without money and without price, though we've been bought with a price. How about that? Let's play this clip. It's funny how this madness just came up this week. That's crap. Enemy rabbits? It is damn rabbits. It's, the, <laughs> it's kind of it's funny how it's a demon. It's a demonic rabbit. All right. So we have to fight all these um, all these uh, demons, man, and all these philosophies. And we got to be willing to fight them, too, because they're going to keep coming at us until the Lord takes us out of these bodies. We got to fight the principalities. But nothing is going to separate us from the love of Mashiach. Play that back. Hey, YT, don't get on my case. Love that. Let's play it back to that part. Just see that. Just don't throw me away. I'll fight for you, Master. Understand? You'll fight the waves of the catastrophe. catastrophe. That's my job. See, the Lord is here to fight our battles and, and to keep us from the dangers, man. We just got to trust in Him. That's it. We've been bought with a price. We were redeemed without money. Come on now. Let me see what that is. Now. Blue and we're gonna go back to uh Ruth and finish that out. It says, For this is what the Lord Yahweh Bashimashai says, When I sold you into exile, I received no payment. Now I can redeem you without having to pay for you. See, that's it. That's it. All right, now let's go back to Ruth. All right, and I'm gonna play the clip. And one more time, go back, and we're going to close out. Let's go get a book of, where's Ruth at? Where is that? Ruth, okay, there we go. All right, let's go down to the point that we were at. It 
Yep, verse 14. So Ruth, I'm just going to read the NLT version. So Ruth lay at Boaz's feet until the morning, but she got up before it was light enough for people to recognize each other. For Boaz had said, no one must know that a woman was here at the threshing floor. Because nobody knows that we're with the Lord. Don't nobody know, oh, the Lord ain't dealing with you. People don't think the Lord is dealing with us in our day to day. All right. But the Lord is dealing with us. All right. They, they, they don't know that. The Lord knows he's with us. We know we're with the Lord. The people around us don't know that. It says, then Boaz said to her, bring your cloak, spread it out. He measured six scoops of barley into the cloak and placed it on her back. Then he returned to the town. See, the Lord has always given us provisions. He's opened up the, the heavens for us. He's given us our daily bread. He, he, da he daily loadeth us with benefits, man. Okay? I'm just quoting the script, man. I ain't really going to grab it because I want to stick to the story. But, yeah, your brothers know that scripture. That's in Psalm right there. It says, when Ruth went back to her mother-in-law, Naomi asked, what happened? My daughter, Ruth told Naomi, everything Boaz has, uh, Boaz had done for her. And she added, he gave me these six scoops of barley and said, don't go back to your mother-in-law empty-handed. So when it comes to this, this word, when it comes to us moving in this world through the script, we don't come uh, back empty-handed with the Lord. The Lord always sends us back to our teachers, just like Naomi was schooling Ruth. We're being schooled by the men that the Lord has set up and being schooled by the scriptures themselves as a, a, a blueprint, as a conduit as a measuring stick as a ruler as a lamp as a light as a schoolmaster right so that we don't come to the lord empty-handed or return back unto our place empty-handed as the lord still keeps us and sustains us in this place though we don't have everything yet we do have enough we have everything that 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 accounts that means anything it says, then Naomi said to her, just be patient, my daughter, until we hear what happens. The man won't rest until he has settled things today. See, the Lord ain't going to rest until he settles everything. He wants us to be patient because Yahweh Shai, he's patiently waiting at the right hand of power, even at the right hand of Yahweh, our God, the Almighty, the Father of Spirits. Okay. Until the Lord Yahweh makes Yahweh Shai's enemies and our enemies a footstool, then we will have everything that we have set out to uh, have. Everything that was promised us, we will have it in the Lord's time. We just got to wait, brothers, and fight for the Lord as our strong defense and shield. Let me get that. All right, shit, buckler. Ooh, man, play this. Okay, play it back. Boom. And that's how we look when we first seen the Lord. We just, we just babies. We innocent, man. We children. We born again. We need the Lord. This is 2 Samuel 22 and 31. As for Yahweh, his way is perfect. The word of Yahweh, which is Yahweh Shai, is tried. He is a buckler, which is an offensive weapon to all them that trust in him. Because a shield is a defense. A buckler is a bump on the shield or a spike on the shield to be an offensive weapon, an attacking weapon, while a defense, you see? That's what the Lord is for us, okay? And that's it. Psalm 35 and two, take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for mine help. And that's exactly what the Lord is gonna do and has done and will do. Play this. There's a wave coming that could end everything. I have to get as strong as possible before we're all wiped out. But defense is all I'm good for. I need someone to fight for me. If you can't, I'll find someone else. Ooh, that's the part, man, that hits my heart every time. <laughs> you just, hey, man, you got a lot of these clowns and people out there just think the Lord just need them so bad that, that he just going to sit around and wait for them to, to have a career. It's going to take me about 20 years, Lord, maybe 50 years, and then I'll come to you. No. The Lord will move right on and be like, man, if you can't do it, then I'll find someone else. All right? So that's that's the spirit. But the Lord know whom he have chosen. Let me get that. Whom he have chosen. 
Alright. Yeah. Controls. Okay. I'll find somebody else. Alright. Isaiah 41 and 8. But thou, Israel, art my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. Isaiah 41 and 9. Thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth and called thee from the chief men thereof and said unto thee, Thou art my servant. I have chosen thee and not cast thee away. Woo -hoo -hoo. Let's play the resident clip. Let me, let me play it back for the jump, man. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> the Lord is yelling at us. Mm. Listen up now and listen good. See? Because since we didn't want to fight at the first, there's the pain that's in us, all the pain of everything. The Lord made you come serve him. Just like Jonah, you know, some of us try to run away and the Lord brought us back to where we needed to be. There was pain and we's already shackled. Okay. But but yet that that chain on our neck is going to be a strong defense for us in the end. How about that? Okay. Isaiah 43 and 10. Ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord, Yahweh, my servant, whom I have chosen, that ye may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me there was no power formed, neither shall there be after me. Whew. Isaiah 44 and 1. Ooh, 1 four, four. Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. Verse 2, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, that made thee and formed thee from the womb, which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and thou, Jeshurun, or uh, uh, Yasha, Yashawan, which is my first, whom I have chosen. <sighs> Man. Man, that's it. That's it. This is John 13 and uh, 18. I speak not of you all. I know whom I have chosen, but that the scripture may be fulfilled. He that eateth bread with me have lifted up his heel against me because not everybody's for the Lord. They're for their own thing. They might sit at the table as a friend, but they're really an enemy. We want to be friends at the Lord's table. But right now we're cool with being servants. But even being a servant, we're the Lord's freemen. How about that? Play the rest of this. You, got me? you heard that? He said, if you ain't going to fight, I, I, I ain't going to be able to take care of you anymore. See? See, in the world, you know, Jake getting messed up. They still got somewhat of a little hedge about them. But it's going to be a time where the Lord's going to let loose and, and really take away that hedge he has over Jake. And Jake going to be getting slain to the point where it look like Jake is being exterminated and, and going extinct. But the Lord is going to have that hedge and that protection over his chosen because why? They fought for him. They loved him. They served him. And the Lord became and was forever their shield, protection, and buckler. Come on now. Play the rest of it. There's a wave coming that could end everything. I have to get as strong as possible before we're all wiped out. But defense is all I'm good for. I need someone to fight for me. If you can't, I'll find someone else. Understand? You fight the waves of catastrophe? I have to. That's my job. I understand. Woo! Once she got that spirit to fight, <laughs> that, that, that chain on her neck was no more a pain, but actual defense. You know? Woo! That's what happened when we, when we weren't afraid anymore. The Lord have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Uh, uh, perfect love casts the way fear. Woo. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. Woo. Well, let me read this. 2 Corinthians 13 and 11. Finally, brethren, farewell. Be perfect. Be of a good comfort. Be of one mind. Live in peace. And the power of love and peace shall be with you. Woo. 1 John 4 and 17. Herein is our love made perfect that we may have boldness in the day of judgment because as he is, so are we in this world. First John 4 and 18, there is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. See, at first she was scared, I don't like blood. But after she said, I understand, took that sword up and had no fear at that moment. 
Ay, woo. And I too have no choice. Master, I'll fight for you. Just don't, don't throw me away. Deal. This is reality, not a game. I want to live. So there's nothing to do but fight. <laughs> it's reality, not a game. <laughs> you know, as the Lord told us of of Rit, this is reality, not a game. And then you heard what she said. She's like, I'll fight for you, Master. Just don't throw me away. And he said, Deal. So that's the deal we made. That's the vow we made with the Lord. We got to keep our vow, man. The Lord ain't dealing with no. Uh, person talking and they ain't doing nothing man get out of here now this is genesis 28 and 20 this is what our forefather jacob said and jacob vowed a vow saying if yahweh will be with me and will keep me in this way that i go and will give me bread to eat and raiment to put on Ooh, i gotta keep keep it going in that keep reading so that i come again to my father's house in peace then shall the Lord Yahweh by Shemel Shai be my power. <whistles> See that? And that's what the Lord have, have given us. And we don't need not, no more than that. Because the Lord is going to give us everything that we don't have now and everything that we don't even think we need. The Lord is going to give it to us all because the wisdom, first and foremost, is what we want. Like Solomon, he wanted the wisdom and understanding to rule our great people, which is Israel. He got everything that a man could ever want without even really asking for that. But that's what we want. We want what all men want. We just wanted something more. Psalm 76 and 11, vow and pay unto the Lord, Yahweh, by Shema, Shai, your power, that all that be round about him bring presence unto him that ought to be feared. <whistles> man, Ecclesiastes 5 and 4, when thou vowest a vow unto Yahweh, by Shema, Shai, defer not to pay it, but he have no pleasure in fools. Pay thou which thou hast vowed. See that? <whistles> Better it is that thou shouldest not vow than that thou shouldest vow and not pay. See, we're paying our vow. We're doing what the Lord has told, uh, have told us to do, have commanded us to do. And that's it. That's it and that's all. So that's it, man. This is reality. It's not a game. I want to live. Not die. So all I got to do is fight. Let me play that back one more time, man. It's too good. Too good. All right, little, little white T, don't, don't hurt me. Yeah. <laughs> we play it from right there. We got to let the fear go down the river. Fear not. Let me get that. There we go. Woo. Genesis 15 and uh, uh, 1. After these things, the word of the Lord Yahweh, Bashem Shai, came unto Abram in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abram, I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. Woo. Back a little bit more. Now we're going to play it through. And I'm going to get maybe like one more scripture and we out. If even, if even we got that, we'll see, we'll see. We shall see. Let's see, let's see. Mm, okay, go with that. Deuteronomy 31 and 8. Okay, and the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, he it is that doth go before thee. He will be with thee. He will not fail thee, neither forsake thee, fear not, neither be dismayed. All right. That's pretty much it. Please stab it. Raftalia! I hate blood. Listen up now and listen good. If you can't fight, then I'm not going to take care of you anymore. You got me? There's a wave coming that could end everything. I have to get as strong as possible before we're all wiped out. Now you see that? Because if, if if the Lord doesn't come and speed up these days for the elect's sake, 
those willing to fight the evildoers and the workers of iniquity. Hey, man, did this damn demon Esau eat him? He's a wave <laughs> that's going to destroy everything, you know? And we don't want to uh, die in that that uh, uh, destroying wind, that wave, right? And the Lord, hey, the, 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 all the time that the Lord has been gone, his enemies have been made his footstool. So we're just waiting on the Lord, but we have to fight. We can't just sit around. We have to fight. We're at war. The Lord is our captain and finisher of our faith. But we have to take up arms, man. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but spiritual to the pulling down of strongholds. But defense is all I'm good for. I need someone to fight for me. If you can't, I'll find someone else. Understand? You fight the waves of catastrophe? I have to. That's my job. Ooh, it behooved the Lord to do what he did. That's why he said, I have to. It's my job. <laughs> you know, okay, because... Hey, Hey, we got questions for the Lord, just like Moses. What's your name? Oh, I can't speak to these people. All our forefathers had the same questions. Like, what, what do you want me to do? How am I supposed to do it? How can I do it? And the Lord just sternly told us what it was. How it's going to go down. This what you're going to do. And if you can't do it, I'll find someone else. But it goes to show you that, hey, but that's what the Lord wanted to see where your faith was. Are you going to take it up? We don't want the Lord to leave us nor forsake us. And the Lord said he will not fail us. All right. Just, he just wants us to be courageous, as he told Joshua. It says, and the Lord, this is Deuteronomy 31 and 8, and the Lord, Yahweh Bashimashai, he it is that doth go before thee. He will be with thee. He will not fail thee, neither forsake thee. Fear not, neither be dismayed. I understand. it's crazy how this uh, anime is like in a video game like a vr or whatever and it, it showed her level right there and it was level four <laughs> hey so we know that's mercy she's like i'll serve you mercy. just don't throw me away you see the lord had mercy on us by even giving us this truth showing us even a little glimpse of it so we're not going to take this for granted and like my man said he said this is reality not a game. He's about to say it right now. Deal. This is reality. Not a game. I want to live, so there's nothing to do but fight. Ooh, I want to live, so there's nothing to do but fight. <laughs> Woo! So Lord doesn't want you to enjoy that. All right. Now let's get friend uh, medicine, and I'm going to end it with that. And that's what the Lord has... has bean for us all right and we're now at his feet like roof for us okay and the lord is going to marry us because we can't marry this world you know they, they, they ain't, ain't gonna do nothing for us we don't want satan we don't want nobody else but the lord and the only way to get back to the father is through one man the middle man between us and our power even yahweh shah he's the doorway he's the bridegroom all right, and we're making ourselves ready for that wedding day. Ecclesiastes 6 and 16, a faithful friend is the medicine of life, and they that fear the Lord shall find him. So with that, giving all praises, glory and honor unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakakadash, which is the Holy Spirit by whom we do function, double honors unto my apostles, my elders, and my teachers at Great Millstone that are ruling well, and continue to do so. Salutations, peace, and blessings unto the hopeful elect, that house of David. To you brothers out there fighting this good fight of faith, keep it up. To you sisters doing that which is becoming of women, shalom to those that are addicted unto this ministry. I say shalom. Those only have been edified until the next time I say shalom. This has been Gaal, our kinsman, redeemer, friendship okay part two that's what we're looking for our kinsman redeemer and <laughs> to have her you know like like the, the spirit of wisdom is as a woman to support loving caring nurturing all right a help unto man man loveth nothing better all right to have that friendship is immortality 
So with that, may I say shalom. On to the next one. Shalom.